Sydney. Sydney. Google says Sydney almost... October 20th, 1973. Okay. 1973. All right. About... Oh my god, it, it almost spells Disney, but I replaced the I with an extra Y. God damn it. But... Wow. They asked a different mm. question. Sons of bitches. All right. I really hate it when they do that. Fucking hell. Ah, uh, so operas open in the 70s. Yeah. The opera sense. open in the 70s is what he's asking. 1973 I... specifically. Yeah. Right. So it was around during the year of the 70s. During the time when disco was a... Yeah. Okay, there we go. You fucking bitch. That fucking paper never said anything about the year it was built. That's a glaring fly I have to call out on whoever made this fucking game. Never thought, never thought the Opera House was uh, uh, was built in, in the seventies. I thought it would be older than. All right, so let's I did see. too. I just Ooh. noticed something. It, what? The sixties were the sixties were the year of psychedelic and music. The seventies yeah. was disco. Eighties was... was hair metal, and nineties. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I would say hair metal, but it was definitely the unhealthy decade. The loud snare drum sound. Uh, what, the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, it had a lot of snare drum. In, a, in a loud lot of snare drum. The I mean, Golden's not wrong on that. Yeah, and like, what what songs do yeah. they use for that snare? I don't know. Whatever the case is, there's one more, uh... Okay, so let's see what this one's... Uh... The 90s was the, it was the decade of Edge. Yeah. The Taranga Zoo. Okay. Yeah, Taranga. Taranga. I, that's T A R O G uh, N G A. The koala uh, is a uh, world famous symbol of Australia. Contrary to popular belief, koalas are not bears but marsupials. I can't even pronounce that. The um, the country Marsh down under is the only place in the world where the small cuddly animals can be found. The Taranga Zoo has its own landing wharf to receive its ferry boat, which uh, brings visitors from Sydney, a 25-minute ride away. Uh, the zoo is the nearest place to the city where tourists and Australians can see the koalas and other animals unique to this country and continent. Okay? Yeah, the koalas aren't actually bears. The reason why they call them koala bears is because of the fact they actually look like teddy bears. But they're not. They're a type of marsh. So yeah, I knew that. <laughs> it's confusing. So Taranga Zoo can be reached it's from confusing. Sydney by ferry code, helicopter, kangaroo ride, or subway. What? <laughs> kangaroo ride. <laughs> I don't recall this. Typical now. I don't recall this ever being talked about. There's, th it said that there was like a 25 minute like ride of something, but they never clarified what. Mm hmm. Was that a ferry boat? Uh, okay, yeah, so it was ferry. a ferry boat. Okay. Yeah, it's ferry. So, what is the bear? Like what what is the bear like to eat? Eucalyptus leaves. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Did th did this little thing say anything about that? No, I it's just pretty know, common knowledge I... of the animal. Yeah, I I just knew that from god damn like the, okay right this here. stage is already pissing me off they're asking me questions that are irrelevant from what i was reading just like american public school Burn. ouch <laughs> just like just like any real school if you think about it hard enough oof also magical star said something that i'm definitely gonna have to respond with it he, uh -huh. magical star said 90s was all that I'm gonna need you to oh, shut man. your damn mouth right now. <laughs> I love all that. I love Kenan and Cal. Oh, here it goes. Do you like orange yeah. soda? I do, I do, I do. I do. Oh. Why? What was it's... with the freaking half orgasm sound you just made? I That's do. That's because Keith... Okay, Kel had such a real obsession with orange soda for some reason. It was like a uh, 
constant joke throughout the whole show of Keenan and Kel. I don't know why! Because Gorn's soda's fucking good, you fucking heretic. I didn't say I didn't like it. Riley, it's what the fuck? It's fucking good. Where the hell am I now? What? Is this Mexico again? Is it? Let's see, Hotel Esplendido? Oh, I think this might be Spain. Oh. Spally, what the fuck? Okay, no, 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 no. I'm clicking off of that. What? Okay. Who, what, uh, when, how? Just Riley sent me a video of friggin', uh, of somebody cutting a pineapple and saying, this is how you eat a pineapple, and, um, he cuts it in the shape of, um, <clears throat> I can't Oh! It's the shape of a penis, isn't it? No, 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 it's the opposite. Oh, okay. It's the, the shape of a gender. pussy. Oh, that makes it perfectly okay. Hey. I was about to oh. question his sexuality really hard there for a second if he's looking at fucking people chopping up pineapples into dick shapes and eating them. No, 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 it's not dick shape. It's... No, 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 it's yeah, not dick shape. That's it's why I said I would have had that been the case, but it was not. Therefore, I said I was about to, but I did not because that was not the case. Okay, so as stated. And there's... Oh my hand, this is a Betsy. He shaped a pineapple into a freaking veg. Nope. I, I'm well aware of that. That is what I was heavily implying, uh, and everybody with more than three functioning brain cells should have been able to figure out. What the Who hell? Is he? It's Sponge Guard. Square Is it not any of these two? What the dick? What? So much innuendo with that alone! How is there innuendo when I specifically say it is in the shape of a vagina and you are eating it out? How is, like... Where, what is implied about that? That's pretty fucking direct, last I checked. It's still obvious into window. It's not it's it's still window supposed because to be a it's not implied. Uh, never mind. Besides, the whole the point of innuendo window. is that it is implied, not implicitly stated, which is the exact opposite of what I did. I implicitly stated it as such. Therefore, it is not innuendo. It is just direct. All right, no need to be all technicality here. Okay, I, so I fucking it's... thrive on technicalities, peasant. Don't call me a peasant. I'll call you a peasant. Are you th uh, richer than me? Probably. No, How much? not really. Uh, why that's is, what I thought. Yeah, why that's is what any I thought. of this relevant? It's solar. <laughs> <laughs> it's a throwaway line he uses for emphasis. More importantly, how does learning about the Sydney Opera House lead us to fucking Mario? I honestly Furthermore, do not where the hell am I? I've checked uh, all the areas of Spain, like, and it's not there. I've checked areas around Mexico, but there's only one location to be spotted. There's You're not in- that's Latin America, dude. Latin oh, yeah, America? Uh, Spain Fox. is not in Latin America. <clears throat> Good one. Mm-hmm. Lord. Oh, yeah. Hey, Fox, there's another- What the fuck does this guy have to do with the mission? Fuck this guy. What? <laughs> oh, he's playing Skyrim again. I'm not playing Skyrim. I'm playing oh. Xenoverse 2. Dragon Ball. Oh. What's over here? Well, he's still playing a different game, okay. Well, did oh. you beat him up? Huh? <laughs> did you beat him up? I currently am. It was like, I beat Frieza, Cooler, and Goku, and then Turles and Slug turn up. The fuck do either of you have to do it now? <laughs> the question is, did you beat him up? Try Argentina. Currently in the process of beating him up. And you up. Then you win. <laughs> that was his purpose in the mission, to get beaten up. <laughs> and now it's Rio full salt Nero, on the... Buen, uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina? Let's try that. Buenos ah, Aires. Aires. So I mean, it's so this is Argentina, okay. Oh! Fury. All right, now, let's... Look at the rest yeah, of the city. What is South items. America? It's just not Spain. Okay. Still cool. I can be quite an uncultured swine when it comes to fucking geography. So sorry. Why are you fucking geography? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to learn geography? You know. Oh, he's a... learning it inside and out. Don't you worry. <laughs> It, see now that <laughs> because <laughs> once again it was implied, not implicitly stated. All right, get off my case, will ya? She. He's a decoy. 
I'm not gonna be on your case. That's well, they get off my back. I'm not gonna be on your back either. Stop only... breathing down my neck, then. He, he's not. I'm going to be anywhere near you. The fuck? No. No. Uh... <laughs> yes. yes. Finally, yes. I got all three of these fucking things. What you do right. is get up on the Hydra's back. Alright, why? Get up on the Hydra's Let's back. Let's hope to God that these but, trivias but are why? not like, like confusing me or like asking questions that are irrelevant to what is firstly being read. All right. See what the first one is. The Obelisk Monument, or Obelisk. <laughs> obelisk. Ob I can't pronounce shit today. Yeah, I, I heard you say obelisk. Obelisk. Okay. Yeah, you. Uh, yeah, you. Uh, you. You pronounce it right. Obelisk. Okay. Obelisk. Obelisk. All right. So the Obelisk Monument, a downtown uh, Buenos Aires, uh, honors the 400th anniversary of the founding of Argentina's capital city. Built in 1910 and made of stone, it was designed to look like the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. The obelisk is very tall and can be seen from most of downtown. A small door on the monument side allows visitors the unique opportunity to climb an obelisk. A, a staircase inside brings visitors to the top where they can look onto the Plaza de Replica, Republica and view the entire city. And dang it, Derek the Brody, you beat me to it! Obelisk the Tormentor! <laughs> you beat me to it! Got it! From Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh. Got it! You beat me to it! I was gonna say that! <laughs> yes, you've said nope. this three times now. I think we get the point. Uh... Shut up, Solar! You know, I think he was going for that joke. What do you guys Alright. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, what what could a visitor do inside the obelisk? Get a haircut, eat a meal, climb a climb a fucking staircase. Okay, what will you find yeah, at the climb top? It. What the fuck? <laughs> what will you find at the top of the obelisk? Windows. Uh, a really far drop. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> God damn it! I... Fuck. <laughs> Well, now I know where the name originated from. I'll kiss my ass, you bitch. I have to re-answer once again until I'm ready to, like, fucking answer the questions again. There. Ask away. What is the Oculus of Honor? Let's see. The tall buildings. The founding of Buenos Aires. Yeah, that's right. Let's see. Climb a staircase. There we go. 2300 bucks. Yay. So now I know, know that obelisk is originally a Latin American term. Noted. All right, then. Oh, cool. Okay, let's go to the far right. To learn something this. interesting. We're learning yeah, today. Obelisk. I could already like see, like... Out. Go ahead, Solar. I'm pretty sure obelisk is from ancient Greece. A part of me feels Maybe. like... A part of me feels like people who comment on this video are like comment on this episode like on youtube they're gonna like they're gonna look gonna... at me as a complete moron i mean that's why like whenever it comes to those thumbnails i put a fucking dunce hat over them because my knowledge on geography is so minimal pat pat golden's back okay so the tetro colon what oh it's i the see colon. myth pony oh hi myth pony yep let me get this myth pretty <laughs> All right, so um, the Tetra Colon is considered one of the world's most beautiful opera houses. It is also famous for its wonderful acoustics or sound system. It was built in 1908. The stage can hold 600 performers, and it's longer than one city block. The theater is very fancy with its huge <laughs> chandeliers, red and gold uh, box seats, and soft red on um, Full Street. A uh, Full Street. How the fuck do you say street. that? A Full Street. Full street. Upholstery, okay. Upholstery. Besides opera, the colon is so home to the National Ballet and National Symphony of Companies. Wow. Who would have thought that... Th Never mind. I'm not going to make a joke of that. Okay, so... Uh, the theater yes. is very fancy. No! Oh, Alright. Uh, How many people um, can fit in there? Okay, 600. Too, which means that you've which entire group does not perform before. at the colon? Well, Tango Dancers I Opera oh, Company? I'm Lucy. Izzy is back. 
Oh, God damn it, I got a too many people in here already. What do you mean, yeah. hey. Bite me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married. Oh, yeah. You always say you're married, not dead, but then when I make the joke, suddenly it's the other way around. Oh, you, oh. you should know me by now. Yeah, I do know you by now. Oh. Yes, uh, so what I know you're right. fine pretty well so by now. So when the fuck am I going to see your red ass again? I don't know. Ooh. When do you want? I don't Ooh. know when I'm back, back from Bab. Probably. Good idea. Also, um, Rainbow Dash fan asks... Um, ask all, um, who's ev everyone's favorite villain from the Dragon Ball series? Frieza! <laughs> Frieza. And wasting absolutely no time. I see, I see. Cell. So. Yeah! Cell is a Diet Coke version of Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> literally, you know since what? he's made, literally, since he's partially made of Frieza and King Cold. Oh, F you, Morpheus! <laughs> <laughs> The police has happened to. <laughs> Morpheus, go I'm a bit, fucking corner. I'm a bit torn because Frieza is one of the best villains, but at the same time, Vegeta was also a villain and is my favorite character. True. Anyways, putting the DBZ aside, of uh, the Gaucho Museum, of uh, the Gaucho, 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 Gaucho. Gaucho. I can't that pronounce a, shit. Really Fuck. <laughs> Okay, so, Gauchos are Argentina's version of cowboys. <laughs> Bully... <laughs> God damn it. Bully, Bully Adores, a Y-shaped lasso with a leather-covered stone balls at one end, was the Gaucho's most efficient uh, herding tool. In the 1700s, the gaucho lived in the, um, in the fields with its herds. He mostly traveled the Pampa Plains... Turn? While riding extremely fast horses, uh, imported from the Spaniards, the gaucho used the borderlands to trip the bill, um, the bulls and cows in its herd, causing them to fall. Let's see. Once on the ground, he could brand or butcher the cattle without help. Wow. Wow. Huh. Okay. Hardcore. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Uh, we lost the deal! You better be careful what you say! Cell rules Frieza sucks? Oh wow. Oh wow, you're, you're, yeah, yeah. Nice say knowing you. Mm -hmm. Nice knowing you. Mm -hmm. Nice knowing you. I'd like to say nice knowing you, but it wasn't, uh, go die. Mm. <laughs> I could already that's sense Twink. That's like saying your heart. favorite villain was Janemba. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I know who you're talking about, you, you, Logic, you, you, and I you, left! You lost your fucking right to be a human being now. Get the fuck out of my sight. Wheel of Steel, you don't. You're clearly not a true Dragon Ball Z. Hmm. Step yeah. off! Step off! What next? Are you gonna off. tell us you like GT? And then yeah. we've got so mm -hmm. Well, yes, I have to agree with Derek the Brony about. He is considered just a mimic fight, sadly. Pretty much. But then you have Majin Buu. That thing was actually unexpected as a... He was an intimidating villain. He definitely had some interesting... I mean, he was just one of those villains where it, he, it wasn't so much as some motivation or morals, morals and ethics. He was just a beast. Exactly. He, he quite literally just was a beast. Then he was meant to destroy and he was good at doing it. Um... He did it because it was fun. Yeah, yeah and it was that's, fun. That's oh. the long and the short of it. Exactly. The only time I like Cell... Then he made... Oh, sorry, go on. I was just going to say, the only time I liked Cell was when he was in his first form. Oh, God. That, thing... <laughs> that version of Cell scared me when I saw exactly. it the first time. You mean the one that looked like a fucking cockroach? Yeah. Fitting example of alien here. Yep. Let me guess. I'm in Rome, Italy. Ooh, please we'll tell me you off. Are. Somebody talk to my spaghetti! <laughs> wrong, wrong fucking country. Wrong part wait. of wait, the that's area. Wait, that's Italy, Italy, Rome is, Rome is from Italy. Wrong no. everything. Wrong everything. No, wait, 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 no, it's um, not, it's not Rome. Shit. Oh. 
So where is it? Well, let's see. Where are you? I've already been to Venice, Italy. Belgrade, Yugoslavia. How the fuck do you say that? Correctly. Yugoslavia. <laughs> Yugoslavia. Yeah. yeah. I, I know some people are going to say, well, what about Beerus? And I'm like, Beerus is not a villain. He is a force of nature. He is. He's yeah. kind of the image. He is an arbiter. He is yeah. not, a, he's not a villain. He's an arbiter. Beerus he's, is a god of destruction. He has only one reason to it, and no one can understand why he does it. They just have to accept that he does. Yeah. So he Beerus is a villain. Arrow Dragon says I'm in Russia. That ramen noodles is fucking Russia. Dining. Oh, you the already? text on the fucking... Oh, that explains everything. Look at the building and the text behind it. You mean, I could go into a lecture... God damn it. Thank <laughs> you.